Hi everybody, how's it going? Today, I am going to attempt to try and fit this. Now, I went into B&M and just have a little mosey around because like Christmas decorations and stuff like that. And I found this really handy strip light, 18 quid. It's got a little motion sensor on it. And on the back, it's got a 240 volt power pack. Now, on the instructions, it actually says it's 12 volt and one amp. It's really, really nice and, I don't think, yeah, you should be able to see that. It's really slim. So I thought, great, I know where, just where I'm gonna put this. In my toilet, toilet down there, there's no real light in here. Well, there isn't any light. So I'm gonna put it you can see along here and because it doesn't need a switch obviously this is the bathroom and the toilet will come out because there's not very much light so i'm gonna put it up here uh along there and uh just gonna put the wires through here because all it is beyond the back of here and then into the uh breaker box now i've got two spare ones so i'm gonna just put it in this one here Spare one there and a spare one there. So I'm going to go and get some tools, undo this panel, and then uh, cut the uh, cut the wire off of this. Let's see how it goes. Right, I've just taken out the packet. So there's the uh, 240 volt. They're quite handy. It comes with a link lead, so you can buy two of them. And you can link them up. So I'm going to just turn the old power oak on. They see. And hopefully. Ah, there you go. Cool. That works fine. So all I'm going to do now. Is what I should do is I'll. Um, I shall chop. Chop the wires from here. I can only see, well, it's actually got a tracer, but it's quite good actually, because LEDs only work one way, so it doesn't really matter. You can only work or not work on it. So, here goes. A pair of scissors. A pair of scissors. And chop. Don't need that. So, two wires. Okay, quite handy actually, because right here is DC output. So all I'm gonna do, I'll strip the wires and I'll put my goggles on for this. I don't wanna get this wrong, do I? So I can then I can just find out the polarity really. So the tracer, oh, I don't think it's gonna work now, but where is it? There's the tracer wire. So we'll see if that's the positive. So I just put it onto DC. Just give me a little, give me a little twist first, to tidy up the ends. It's twice now I've dropped it. It's not looking great, is it? So here we go. Be a bit careful. So we also have traces. The trace is the middle. So hopefully that'll be the white one. No. Okay, let's turn it round. So the white one. Oh, oh hang on, I didn't have it on. Silly me. All right. Okay. Do it away. Do it another way. Um, right, back in a second. <laughs> right, to be honest, I thought I'd killed it then, but I've just connected it back up quickly 
and look, it works okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wire it up, and see what happens. So I'm gonna take this panel off, thread the wires through, see what happens. thread these wires it's quite handy that you can link them together so it's going to take that out and hopefully thread the wires somehow I really don't think it's going to work I might have to get a, might have to get a bit of stiff wire there it goes Stiff wire. Right, I've got some stiff wire. This is an old amplifier wire. So I'm going to try, feed it through, if I can. Where's the dunno? Oh, just too many wires. I know how the wheel feels now. Sorry, I've got my back to you. Oh, you're kidding me. I think it's too thick. Let's go and get some smaller wire. Right, I found some slightly small power cable. This is what I use for the uh, for the fridge. And I'll try and get it through. I might come through this way first because I found a little hole. But hopefully, I won't electrocute myself or break anything. Yeah, oh, this is not going to plan. Just when you thought things would be quite a little bit simple. No, bollocks. I know what I've done. Right here is a centre spar that goes all the way across. And I reckon it's hitting that. I don't know. This is why I think you should just like deal with your wiring first. I don't want to be start putting panels down. Oh, what a ball like. Oh, one of those mouses. You know the little mouse type things you can get. Wow. 
all you're gonna hear in this, in this video is me going, ah, oh, ah, oh. It's not really, it's a video I'll, I'll make. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, pause. Eventually. <sighs> Done it. Right, cable's through there. Cable comes out here. So now, I'm gonna just tie this end to the other end, drag it through. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I stopped filming because there was a few Fs. Right, so I'll just trim this bit here. We'll trim the same here with the old trusty snap-on cutters. They're not the best ones, but it's, what's, it's the ones I keep in the van. So, in fact, I might just chop quite a lot of this off. Ah. Quite sharp, actually. Right. So let's twist them together and gently oh. Right, I need to find some tape. What done with tape? So this is like real life scenarios. Actually what I do is I'll split these wires like that in half and wrap them around like that and then wrap them together so that ain't coming undone there we go right let's gently pull it through oh. yay voila Right, job done. Wires are here, let's go into there. I have got uh, terminal box number one, terminal box number two, and terminal box number three. Lockable. Because nobody wants to pick up 5,000 terminals believe me i've done it before right so all we need to do now is find out which one was which so i bought in a little adapter which all i'm going to do is plug in plug in to the little power oak plug it in there Where's the light gone? The light's right here. So I plug in the light. Let's sit there. Poke these wires in. Well, I reckon that was the negative. Negative. Positive. Wave, no, nothing. Oh yeah, duh, turn it on. Okay. And there we go, so I know the power now. Right. Christy. So the white wire with the thick gray tracer, you can see. Where's the, uh, where's the camera on these phones? Front facing camera. There you go. So that's the power. And then you'll see this one is the negative. In fact, it, no, there's no, it actually did look like it had a tracer there, but it hasn't. So gray block tracer, positive. Right, I'll just put you back down. This is gonna be a super shaky video, look. Right, so, 
Uh, right, so it's a spade terminal. I should put a red one on it, because it's quite thin. So just a little one of them. Onto the positive. Fredges has kicked in. In fact, these wires aren't very thick, are they? So we'll put a little double up on them. Plug them in. Job done. Right. Now in the back here, I've put a bolt so all my earths go to one place. And it's held on by a 10mm nut, which I forgot. So I'm just going to trim this up. And put a little ring terminal on it. And hopefully, that should be it. So, little ring terminal. Like that, make sure it fits. It does, thank you Dory. Right. Okay. All right, put it onto the spare, which was the third one down, which is there. on, pull that through, just make sure it's working, hang on there, and I oh, better turn it on I suppose, there, there, cool, great, so I'm just going to bolt this up, put this panel back in, and then mount that light somewhere. Right, all wired in, and working. So all we do is put this panel back in, and the trusty gun. Job done. Screws. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I know I'm not as good, yeah, you know, as good looking as Count Drac here off of Sesame Street, but there you go. Right. Okay. Screw this little bad boy back. Right, job's a good one. All I've got to do now is put this up in here. So I'm going to take this wire out because the they got one at either end of it. Put it up here. In fact, I will turn it off because, looking at that, they're bare. More threading of cables. Go on. Oh, not again. Just when I thought things were beginning to get easy.
cry it out loud. Right. Cool, got it. Do you know what? I wonder if I drink so much. Oh, that's gone as well. Okay. So it comes with these little ditty brackets. Oh, and it comes with screws. That's quite cool. Saves me hunting around for some screws again. And they're quite small screws. So I doubt if my bit's going to fit. So I'm not swallowing them. Okay, they seem to fit okay. Right. In a particular place. Right. Surface mount. They don't seem very tight. So I might give me a little bit of tension. <clears throat> hmm. Right. Okay. So, there's a possibility of having two of these. I'm just going to put it at the back. Let's see how it goes. So one, one there. No, I believe it. Right, here we go. Time to lose the screw. You probably, I probably just got my back to you all the time now, haven't I? Oh no, here we go. I've lost. Oh, oh. If you'd have seen the build series of my transit, the transit went together really easy. But little Sid was cool. Big Sid. It's a little bit different. Right, that's one in. Go for a final measure up. Because you can't really, um, I can't film in here, can I? Right. So. And that one there. Oh. There you go, two things at once. I'm in the shoiler. Right. Okay, try not to drop the screws, can we go straight in the straight down and probably never to be seen again. Come on, baby. <sighs> there. Hunky dory. <sighs> right. Time to plug it in. Clip it up. Cool. There we go. Tuck the wire in the back. That's all. This is all going to be plastic clad in here at a later date. Right. Turn it on. 
Yes. Lovely. Whether this sensor is quite sensitive, I don't know really, but. Don't look too bad. Let's all go in the shower. There, job done. As I said, all this behind me, there's, oh, well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out. I can't do that reverse fingering stuff. Beer bottles. So here, this is all flush here, just these gaps here. And the reason why I left them is because I wanted to see if I could get some wires behind there and obviously do what I've done here, which I've managed to do. Where are you? I've managed to do. So this bit of wood here, that's all going to come off. And then I'm going to put another piece of wood. I know it seems a bit excessive with wood, but it's only thin. And that's going to give the plastic something to adhere to. And then it will be all boxed in and then hopefully a timbre door here at a later date. So lights in, all I've got to do now is take this sticker off and change it to bog, toilet, or whatever, shit, I don't know. But I'm quite happy with that for 18 quid and you can join them up if you want to. So if you had like, um, oh, there we go. That's got a timer on it, that's quite cool. So if you had like a, a Lexian panel on the roof here, you could probably put these behind it and then all you'd have like is a, a nice glow. So I really don't think any type of music is gonna make my back look good. This video look great, but for 18 quid for a light, can't be bad. So 18 quid, motion sensory light from b and I think that's enough of just two wires, one light, one man in a van, and a dog. Ted, say hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Right, I've got one of these little machines, quite handy. It's like a little labeler. So what I'm gonna do now is name it. So, we're gonna call it Tea Light. All right, so, I've got to remember to use this now. Enter, English, enter, one mil, enter, blah, blah, blah. Right, so I want it on capitals. I've got to remember to go to capitals now. So, right, here we go. All right, T, space, L, I, G, H, T and then print and it should come out there T light give it a trim up so there you go there's a little that'll probably read backwards actually wouldn't it so I was going to trim it off Hope you can hear me because I'll just put the heater on because it is getting a bit nippy. Right. Turn the camera up. Let's just move you around a bit. There you go, a bit wobbly, sorry. So I've taken it off of here. And all they do is they fold in half. Some of the simplest things become quite difficult. There you go, there's one half. And the other half. And stick it on. There you go. Tea light. 
Right, I forgot to mention to turn this thing on and off. Right, so sweep it forward and then off, sweep back. Easies. I don't know if I can edit this to make it look any good, but it is what it is. Two wires, one light, one toilet. Thanks for uh, watching. <laughs> Give me a like, please. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye. Bye.